Good morning. Waves are still crashing and I slept like a baby. Seems my sweetie. Yum. Time to get up early before I look you lose. See this camping here and think we're crazy squeak. Come to eat their children. <laughs> oh, I love these cedars we slept under there. Just glorious. Time to start the day. I love the ocean. Good morning, folks. Baby. Come here. Come here. Brr. Oh, the chomp is waiting. Oh, the chomp is waiting. Time to wash my face in the ocean. Ah, it's so beautiful. Woo! Spring that flows out of the ground here. Must come from uphill. Oh, look at those waves. Let me show you the spring, because it's very cool. See that? It's coming out of the ground right here, out of the gravel. <sighs> Somebody takes really good care of this little spring. It's not ditch water. It's coming out of the ground. Oh yeah. Did you wait where you were supposed to wait? Somebody left pee paper on the ground. That is just abominable. I can't even imagine someone 
not only pee right there, but then leave the paper right there. Clean up your act, people. Sorry, it's kicking Ooh, we found a garbage can. Unloaded some garbage and donated that old Zora towel that we brought in our ride share and have been carrying around for no reason since. It's very heavy and we can't do that anymore, but I didn't want to throw it in the trash. But this is a beach, so maybe somebody needs a dirty dog towel. It's pretty. It's a relic from the hippie days. It's older than me. Someone will find a use for it. Found a puppy to play with on the beach. Oh, now here comes another one. <laughs> She's ready for puppies. Good girl. We're actually riding on the beach right now. I didn't even think I'd be able to, and I totally sunk. And then I came down to where the rocks mixed into the sand, and we're rocking it. No pun intended. Or was it? I don't know. Jeez, ready. Zara, let's go now. Good girl. Yeah. Rah. Jeez, good girl. She didn't want to jump on me because I got a big tippy fight. She's a smart puppy. Good girl. Look at these trees. Puppy's having a sniff. Some drinks. <laughs> Rub it on, smells. <laughs> Look at this little man made cascade. Pretty cool. Another spring comes out here. Zara, what are you rubbing in? You're a weirdo. Yeah. You weirdo? Check it out. Oh, I hear an eagle. There it is. Oh, there's another. Okay, that's where we're riding. Believe it or not. Love my bike. Woo! Beach just drops off over there. It becomes this steep, steep slope of big, loose pebble stones. So, push my way up here, and I saw this big sign. And a trail. Sweet. I think I'm saved. Look at this trees. Thank you, Camp Bing. We showed up here unannounced and they gave us water. Who's that puppy doing? Who's that puppy doing? Oh, is that puppy doing? It? Is he happy?
Ja. To be. Get your drinkies in. Camel up, pup. Don't mind if I do come down here for a bit. <laughs> Where'd your stick go? The river took it. <laughs> Check out these huge granite slabs. Gorgeous. Those lines carved into them by a glacier, I'm sure. They look carved in. There's the rig. Yeah. We're on this uh, deactivated logging road. No truck traffic, no car traffic, nothing like that. It's not too bad, the trees are kinda <laughs> brutalized, but, oh, they left a few giants standing. It's nice, if the wind doesn't take them out, they'll be a anchor for the community. This is beautiful, it's called Scotch Broom. It's also invasive. It's also very ticky. Zora, get out of that scotch broom. Good girl. No scotch broom, please. All right, let's rock and or roll. I mean, let's roll on rocks. Look at these sentinels. I seem to be getting good enough to ride one-handed with these panniers right now, sort of. Uh-oh. This is gonna be bumpy. Uh, yeah, on the handlebar. Uh, that probably looked terrible. But anyway, I was trying to say I can mostly balance. This is what it looks like when we're riding. This is what it sounds like. Oh! 
If you are a bear, you had best beware. Yeah. Because I got all that. <laughs> it's a trail right now. This is too pretty, I can't help but try and ride it with the camera in my head. A little green tunnel. Oh, feet! Wow, would you look at those? Trail update, we're practically bushwalking. Whew. I was starting to think it would never open up. I was just dreading the thought of doing it all backwards, but it opens up. Oh look, more granite cliffs. Pretty. Got a view. So over the shakes, I don't know why, I can't seem to do anything about it. The water. Good girl. I hope this doesn't turn into another bushwhack. Another lovely trail right now. Blackberries grabbing at my legs. Brutal. Yeah, I'm blooding. That's what you call thinking ahead right there. Thinking ahead 30 minutes late. Ugh. Blooding. Sorry, I don't look that bloody. Creepy dog. <laughs> this is totally ridiculous to be honest with you guys. If I didn't have. Uh, all the supplies I need to spend the night here, this would be scary. But I do. It's all good. Just gruesome. The worst thing that can happen is I have to do all this bushwhacking again in the other direction. Uphill. But I'll still live. I mean, more likely I would just hack a new trail downhill. I can hear the highway. We're gonna get there. Always makes me so happy when I see this, even if it's not gonna last. These blackberries are gonna kill me. Speechless. This just sucks. <laughs> oh. In this right now, we're crawling beside the bike. Hi, Licky. Yeah, I'm bleeding. Licky, Licky. You like it better? Oh. Can we eat that? I'm gonna walk ahead and try and clear the trail a bit because this isn't working, and I need it to work. Ah, I'm bushwhacking. That's why they call it that. I, I mean, I did know, but I've never done it before. I'm going at these blackberries with bow hands, I feel like a medieval swordsman right now. Ah. I vanquish thee, evil Blackberry! Emerged victorious into a clearing. I'm not putting my stick away yet. 
I turn around, still got the stick. I'm gonna go beat my way through the same bush. Just beating around on the bush. Until I can get the bike out here. And then, hopefully, I won't have to do it again, but I don't know, I don't care. It's gonna happen. It's about bushwhacked my way back to the bike. You can barely see it in there. This stick is spent. See? Whew, it served me well. Thank you, stick. Well, there's my poor puppy. Good girl. She's just standing in the creek waiting for me. So patient. It's hydrated. It's so tight in here, I can't even use close angle on my camera. I'm gonna stay wide. If you can see this, I'm standing in what used to be a ditch. It's a little stream now. And I'm all bloody. And I am lifting my bike up this big ledge. Right here. And the front wheel is in the air because the panniers are so heavy right now. I already cleared this trail though. So I might have to clear another one after, but we're getting close to the highway. It's not stuck or anything, just thought it was a really good illustration. <laughs> I'd like to take this moment, as the blood runs down my leg, to extend my deepest gratitudes to Dirty Girl Gators. Look how thrashed from the berries. There's absolutely no exaggeration when I tell you that my ankles would be worse than this right now if it wasn't for these babies. Thank you. In case you were wondering, yes, I have to come back to the camera. I know it doesn't look like it, but this is a huge improvement. Trail doesn't improve like this for no reason. It's being used. I'm really hoping that this leads me all the way down like this. See, we just came from here. There's a well-maintained trail running perpendicular to us. Oh, excited for sore eyes. And then there's this poorly maintained trail going straight ahead. I'm sure one of these well-maintained directions will lead us out of here. Hopefully this one is the right way. Bushwhack for hours and then realize that you were on the wrong trail. I mean, I was committed, but yeah. This trail would have me coming down this instead of what I just did. I don't know that it's all like that, but it probably is. There's probably one way through. Maybe next time, before commencing bushwhacking, look for alternate routes. I don't know. Maybe it's a character building experience. <laughs> I've been so happy to hear roaring trucks as I am right now. Oh my gosh. Thank you for being loud. You make me happy. Oh, look at that glorious, shitty highway. Oh, never love the sight of pavement like this. Yeah. As soon as we got across the highway, we stopped to check the sweeties' feeties. Let's have this feedie. We spread them all apart, all the toes, and look in between for thorns. We look on the surface of the pad for any abrasion, scaling. It starts to look like dragon scales, and that means that it's a blister. She has nothing like that. Let's go take care of my sweetie.
Talk about your well earned breaks. I'd say this qualifies. A wonderful local man just gave us water. Everybody's so kind here. Always Zora first. Just how it should be, right? Water now is a beaut. Just parallel on the highway. Just east of Davis Bay. Yeah. What is this? Gorgeous spot. This trail is going the wrong way. I just figured out what trail I'm on. And unfortunately, it doesn't reconnect. Except for the same dead end road I started on. It takes you back, but I'm gonna stop right here. Just take it in. <laughs> Cheers, my pretty puppy. Death berries due to my good shitty riding shorts. You can see my bleeding flesh through them. Ugh. Well, that one was already there. Look at what happened where there were no shorts. <laughs> oh boy. I'm just one third blackberry now. Top thing in my food bag, other than the dog food. Chocolate and bread, so I'm having chocolate and bread right now. <laughs> it's good. The Zora is fed and happy. You would think that when you come into a big town like Seashell, a big tourist attraction, that the bridges would be dog friendly. And thanks for making a sidewalk at all over the bridge. That's actually quite helpful, but why did you make it out of this junk? Is wood expensive? I don't know. It's pretty. I just had to carry the puppy. There she is. There's a wild Zora. Yep. She's a wild peas. Yeah. That's a mighty fine river. Zora thinks so. I think so. <laughs> it's nice to be victorious. I got us a craft IPA from a local brewery. I'll tell you later. I don't remember which one. Go hike. Go hike. Go hike. Good girl. Okay, roots don't kill me. Whew. Just getting good at this biking thing, or what? Whoa. Come on, Pat. Let's go. Oh, that's steep.
<laughs> That's too steep. For right now, I gotta go chill on the beach. <laughs> come on, pot. Oh, come on. Let's get in the same shot. Ah, uh, we're not in the same shot. What good is a shot without the puppy? Hey, if you want to have a good time, check out the mountain bike trails on the Sunshine Coast Supermat. Guaranteed, at least half of them exist. Give you a little virtual tour of the rainforest. Oh, this is just a park. It's a pretty park. It's a real cedar. That's a real fur. It's a real Zora. One-handed level, 1,000. I think we're going to camp down there. Somewhere. Swimming ladder, it's low tide, I guess. <laughs> if I drop my phone, I'm going swimming. Isn't that cool?
and hope. Oh, I just about squished myself on camera. It was a perfect dismount. I think I'm ready to find camp now. I mean, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm uh, following this beach up from Davis Bay. Just filled up some fresh water from Pi over there. And we're walking the bike. Oh, I'm walking the bike. <laughs> I was just walking herself. I'm walking the bike up the beach because it's a bit rough. We'll need to find somewhere to get above tide line. Comfortably above tide line. Well, I'll show you when we get there. Having this on here, hopefully it stays this time. Home for the night. Peppy says so. I'm gonna set up in here. It looks like someone actually cleared this up for just this purpose. This is up. Nice and high. Oh, there's some seaweed up there. It's pretty dry. Huh. I wonder when high tide is tonight. Oh, we got a leaf. Pretty good evidence. Side. Tide definitely comes up this high from time to time, but I don't think it is going to tonight. Hmm. Let's check the tide chart. Oh, it's going to be a colorful sunset, I think. Turns out I'm just about at low tide right now, which means there is no way. It's too bad we can't stay here. I figured out the tide's gonna come right up to the rocks. I was afraid of that. <sighs> Look at this. Nice if that was a tent pad, but uh, it's private property. Yeah. I didn't think that you were allowed to own this close to the waterfront, and I don't understand why everything is built up. Shouldn't it be a few meters back, like a hundred? I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Is that not crown land? I'm not going to camp on it anyway, but. I don't know, I feel like something's wrong. Over my shoulder and what do I see? I'm glad I'm here right now. Okay, hi. Go. 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 Good girl. Good girl, hi. Good girl. Scratch the lovely log post. 
Good. Yeah. Oh, you thought we were going to be camping already. So did I. Hmm. Well, we're going to sit here. I'm going to drink a beer and I'm going to watch this sun go away. And then we're going to ride over to a little spot where I know we can hide. So I've been chewing on little crab scraps, crunching them up. Yeah. Wide open hazy ocean. There's actually Vancouver Island back there. <laughs> Believe it or not. And that's the way we're going. We're gonna head out around that land. That seashell down there. See the big oceanfront hotels. So we won't exactly follow the coastline to get. We're gonna head back in the opposite direction, and then we'll follow around behind all this land here in the valley, all these houses. The valley back there. We'll follow that up north, cut inland somewhat. Shouldn't be too steep. Come out somewhere up yonder in the great green hills and then down into seashells. I see no reason why we can't just stay here tonight. I mean, I see no sign. I don't think people normally would stay here, but people aren't normally on a bike. I don't know. Why not? Someone might tell me to leave. A beautiful spot. Zora, are you looking some kind of fish stink? <laughs> this is a bait cutting table. So, uh, yeah, lots for her to lick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, camera problems. Focus. Okay. This brave gentleman is about to jump into the ocean for a nice evening dip. Woo! Nicely done. Thank you. Zora's like, whoa. <laughs> He's okay, Zora. Canadian sled dog Liam Quigley. I'm pretty sure the scaled ones are uh, females. Oh, there we go. Sweet. Mind you, where are the scales? Just you see how they have like their little. Right there. Yeah, their little like shell type yeah. armor. That's only means they're female. Okay. Uh, I see a couple different ones. This one's just and you pissed. don't eat the females. Yeah, you don't eat the females. Sweet. This one's just mad trying to dig its little daggers into me. <laughs> it's like fucking let me down. I'm upside down, you piece of shit. Yeah. Oh, that big There's one right we can. There's a male. Hey Jesse. <laughs> oh yeah. Look at this big boy. Oh, where is he? Oh, I screwed up there. Focus, focus. There he is. Sweet. Look at the size of that thing. Fucking huge.
Is that eight tail? Put him back to whoever's pretty small. So that means we can eat him. Just found this plaque here on the pagoda. Is it a pagoda? I don't know. It's a walking pier. These picnic tables are dedicated in loving memory of Dr. Nalini Mala Bhatt. April 8th, 1940 to January 10th, 2012. A life exemplified by efficiency, dedication, compassion, and no, wait, humility. By a husband and soulmate, Dr. Bhatt. Now, this is the part I really want to show you. Leaf after leaf drops off, flower after flower. Some in the chill, some in the warmer hour. Alike they flourish, and alike they fall. And earth who nourish them receives them all. Should we, her wiser sons and daughters, be less content to sink into her lap when life is spent? Walter Savage Landar. Look at this blackberry damage.